rules, all three dogs involved in a fatal attack on a baby must be euthanized. The ruling comes on the same afternoon as baby Jariah Johnson's funeral service. The one-year-old was killed October 7th when he was attacked by three dogs at a babysitter's house in Northeast Bear County. Today, the fate of those dogs was the subject of a hearing in Justice of the Peace Court 4. Ken's 5 reporter Sue Calvert was there for the ruling. Judge Michelle Garcia really had no choice in this matter. The Texas Health and Safety Code specifies what must happen when a dog kills a person, or in this case, three dogs. The rules say the dogs, in this case, must be put down. Now, the first person to take the stand was the 911 call taker who talked to the 13-year-old girl who tried and failed to save that baby from that vicious fatal attack. The judge warned spectators to remain calm and quiet during what was a disturbing audio clip. Next up, all the deputies who made an initial push into that house to try and contain the three dogs. Dog owner Heather Rodriguez joined the hearing in progress virtually from the Bear County Jail. And then when it was time to review specific evidence, the judge took everyone into a closed room for privacy sake. She looked at specific evidence indicating that all three dogs, in fact, participated in that attack and all three must be destroyed. Now, separately, apart from this, criminal charges are still pending against Heather Rodriguez, the dog owner, for the injuries to the children involved. So, her case is still pending. She is set to appear in district court in December. We'll keep following along. At JP4, Sue Calvert comes in the mauling death of a one-year-old will be back in court. Heather Rodriguez has a hearing this afternoon for charges she's facing in the death of Jariah Johnson. Bear County Sheriff's deputies say Rodriguez's dogs attacked the baby after she left him alone with her 13-year-old daughter. Ken's Fives, Earl Stonemeyer, explains what we're expecting in today's hearing. On top of the initial charges for injury to a child and reckless bodily injury, Heather Rodriguez's added charges are for her daughter's injuries and for endangering and abandoning a child. A big point likely to be discussed in today's hearing is what will happen to the dogs involved. According to arrest records, on October 7th, Erica Castro left her one-year-old son, Jariah, with Rodriguez. Later that day, Rodriguez allegedly left him and her teen daughter alone at home with the dogs. The teenage victim told deputies the dogs mauled the baby and bit her repeatedly as she tried to fight them off. Jariah died that night from his injuries. We spoke with Jariah's mother, Erica Castro, in the days following her son's death, which she says could have been prevented. At the time, you know, the dogs were under her care. Jariah was with, supposed to be, you know, with her. She was supposed to be responsible and then she should have just, I don't know, she should have just stayed home. The hearing is expected to start at 2 this afternoon. Our Sue Calvert will be there and we'll have updates in our later newscast. Earl Sotomayor, Ken's 5. Mauled a one-year-old boy and ultimately led to his death to be euthanized. Those dogs killed little Jariah Johnson at a home on the northeast side earlier this month. The Bear County Sheriff's Office charged the dog's owner, Heather Rodriguez, in that attack. Rodriguez was babysitting Jariah at the time. Daniela Ibarra at the hearing this afternoon and tells us what happened. Even with this ruling, the judge says that Rodriguez has 10 days to appeal. Now, before making this decision, she listened to a lot of evidence. Rodriguez got emotional when the judge issued her ruling. Investigators say Rodriguez left those three dogs alone with her 13-year-old daughter and one-year-old Jariah Johnson. Attorneys played the frantic 911 call the teen made. She told the 911 operator her dogs had never done something like this. One deputy who responded described the gruesome state he found Johnson in once he got inside. Rodriguez still has the criminal side of this case to go through. She's facing three charges in connection to that deadly dog attack. In Bear County, Daniela Ibarra, KSAT 12 News. Steps for justice after a one-year-old was mauled to death by his babysitter's dogs 10 days ago. His family prepares to lay him to rest, and today we learn what will happen to the dogs that killed him. The woman who was supposed to take care of Jariah Johnson, Heather Rodriguez, went before judge this afternoon. Rodriguez surrendered the ownership of one dog to Bear County. All three were taken into county custody the day Jariah was attacked. 
We have team coverage now on what's happened since the attack. Marisa Mendoza was at the hearing today to learn the fate of the dogs. And Phil Sterling is live at Dariah's visitation. We go first to Marisa, who tells us why Rodriguez is fighting for her dogs. Rodriguez joined the civil trial nearly two hours late. After hearing all of the evidence, though, the judge ruled that all three of her dogs to be euthanized. The courtroom heard the last cries from one-year-old Jariah Johnson and Heather Rodriguez's 13-year-old daughter pleading for help. The team was begging 911 operators to send officers because her mom's three dogs just mauled Jariah inside their home, which ultimately led to his death. The arrest affidavit describes the horrific injuries one-year-old Jariah Johnson suffered on October 7th. It states in part deputies found the infant laying on the floor bloody with lacerations and bite marks all over his face and head with a large cut on the right side of his mouth, a large laceration from the top bridge of his nose, and a large laceration on the top of his head. The civil hearing was to determine if Heather Rodriguez would remain the owner of those dogs. After more than a two-hour hearing, the state decided to seize the remaining dogs involved in Jariah's death. It's tragic that animals, anytime an animal has to be euthanized, um, but I really feel like this is about responsible dog ownership, which is what we always say. Um, we don't try to demonize any particular breed, um, but more often than not, we find that dangerous dogs are a result of irresponsible um, ownership where dogs have either been neglected to the point of, of being aggressive or um, just their, their behavior hasn't been um, corrected. 36-year-old Rodriguez remains in jail for injury to a child, reckless bodily injury, a state jail felony, endangering a child, imminent danger causing bodily injury, a second degree felony. That's in addition to her original charge of injury to a child with intent causing serious bodily injury, which is a first degree felony. All the charges stemming from Rodriguez leaving her 13 year old daughter alone to babysit one year old Jariah Johnson with her dogs in the home. The dogs eventually broke through the door attacking and injuring her daughter and killing the one-year-old. Right now, all three dogs remain in quarantine. They're away from each other and other dogs in animal control custody. Heather Rodriguez has 10 days to appeal this verdict. From the far southeast side, Marisa Mendoza.